So first I'm going to read the, the poem that's first in the anthology. It's called Today When I Can Do Nothing. It came out of a prompt in Molly Fisk's uh, poetry group. And I'm so thankful to Molly um, because that group kind of saved my life. The first line, Today When I Can Do Nothing, came from a prompt, a poem by Jane Hirschfield, Today When I Could Do Nothing, that she wrote during the pandemic. And Molly gave us that line as a prompt. Today when I can do nothing, I hug our maple as if it were the body of the man I love, who is not here, but an ocean away, perhaps sipping wine on his patio on a hot spring evening, watching the lit eye of the half-blind moon. The bark feels shaggy under my fingers, ridded dome of narrow longitudinal fissures deepening into gray ruffled ridges, formation of multiple layers of suburized periderm, cortical and flowing. Green leaf lungs breathe above me, shivering with wind the way my alveoli expand under my coat, inside my flesh, on a loop from my first conscious breath in the morning when I rise from dream till evening when I dream again. Everyone knows that trees are the lungs of the earth. The lungs of the earth burn in Australia, Oregon, California, but we humans pay too little attention. Now people's lungs in hospital beds fill with fluid, drowning us from the inside. A virus invades, pushing out air. A virus invisible to the naked eye brings to its knees the world economy. Clouds still travel overhead without keeping social distance, their voluptuous bodies tightly pressed together, but I can go nowhere. I sit on the back steps and drink tea from a chipped cup, listening to the soft chants of the chimes, the rustle of leaves, the whispering wind. Then I walk around our still snowy yard where the first frail green sepals of rosebuds sprout, where catfish glide under the cellophane liquid surface of log and pond, no longer stiffened with ice. I whisper, into the crowns of the maple, the birch, the oak, and place my palm softly on familiar bark, letting each tree know that I will do better, helping it breathe, helping it live. The second poem is a found poem, really, from a, um, an article that I read in um, El Pais, and it um, was about that concert the concert for the biocene for our, all the potted plants. It's called A Lesson in Empathy. The Barcelona Opera House, the Gran Teatro del Liceo, resumes its theatrical season with a concert attended by 2,292 potted plants. The plants raised in nurseries across the city are all lushly, fancifully dressed in green. A string quartet named Yukali delivers an eight-minute rendition of Giacomo Puccini's Crisantemi. The musicians bow to the leafy audience. Nature reclaims spaces humans took for granted, artist Eugenio Ampudia explains. He adds, the performance extends the concept of empathy to other species, striking new balance. In the background, plays on a loop, a susurration of wind whistling through trees which serves as a plant applause. The language of music is supposed to tell the plants what humans have endured in these past three months of quarantine, how confined human lives have been, how hard it is to live within four tight walls, forced to be idle, patient, lonely, waiting. The 2,292 plants in their tight ceramic pots Sit still and listen like they always do.